You all are in for a sweet treat today. What are we thinking about the new Buff Bunny Sugar Rush collection? I know you did not miss those promos. I know you didn't because you couldn't. Honestly makes me wanna work out with a macaroon barbell. How about you? There's nothing I love more than a really fun creative theme. And in case you don't know, Buff Bunny is known for those. And this is no exception. So this new collection is called Sugar Rush. It is launching this Saturday, May 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a complete candy themed collection as if you couldn't tell. I have not been this excited to review one of their collections since Mad Scientist. That was their last October Halloween themed collection. And now here we are just in time for spring. Really fun, beautiful colors, all candy theme and just delicious to look at. So this collection is actually in collaboration with one of their athletes, Felicia Keithley, also known as Felicia Fitness Health on Instagram. Her message behind this collection is balancing sweet treats, enjoying your life, while also being on a fitness journey. You can juggle both, it's all about balance. If at any point in this video I say candy crush by accident instead of sugar rush, please don't correct me. I'm literally working on that. This whole time I've been saying candy crush and I can't get it out of my head. So uh, yeah, I'm working on that, all right? Sugar rush, sugar rush. If you shop the last Alpha Elite launch, and use my code GATA. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support. So if you've ever used my code or plan to, thank you. I know it doesn't give you a discount. I know you actually have to go out of your way to type in GATA right when you're about to check out. So it's an extra step for you and the fact that you don't get a discount, like I really do appreciate you guys going out of the way to do that. So let's go ahead and talk about what to expect in this launch. The palette is stunning. You have a wide variety of colors. You have solid tones. You also have really fun, beautiful prints. You have everything from black and white to nudes to pops of colors. I have a feeling that the prints are gonna be the most popular in this launch because they're so beautiful. You have the terrazzo print, swirl print, a foil ombre speckle, okay? and an ombre as well. So if you're unfamiliar, when we pick these pieces, we can only pick a certain amount. So what you're gonna see in today's video were my top picks. So here we have what I'm wearing right now, the candy wrap bra. And I paired it with the legacy legging in the rainwater swirl print. If you guys don't know, now you know, out of every single one of Buff Bunny's leggings, the Legacy is one of my favorites. It's very simple in the actual construction of it, normal waistband, there's nothing crazy going on, but what catches my eye so much is the tri-seam on the back. That little heart seam going on back there just really accentuates the glutes. I think it's so flattering. And this is made out of their new Bray fabric, which is double brushed, extremely soft. The pattern, oh my goodness, if I could get one of everything in this pattern, I would die. This is so beautiful, it looks like cotton candy. You have light blue, deep blue, oranges, some tan mixed throughout, even a little bit of light green. There's so much to look at with this swirl print. At first when I saw this print, I wasn't quite sure if it would give off the look of just having a bunch of bleach stains all over my legging. Luckily when I got it in and tried it on, I was like obsessed immediately. So I, if anything, it looks more like a sky to me, like random different colors that you would see in a beautiful sky. I have a feeling the Candy Wrap Sports Bra is gonna be a hot seller. You got that wrap front, we all love that. You got the girls looking prime as hell. And I really think this nice medium support, the thick straps, adjustable. I don't even need to try anything else on. This is it for me. We are looking at a small on this legacy legging and it fits like perfection. When it comes to buff money, if you're in between sizes, I'm automatically gonna say I think you should size up. I think it's got a really nice stretch to it so you can get away with sizing up and it's still gonna be really form fitted but extra comfortable. For me, I would always rather have a little more room than not. Plus, especially because you have some prints and really light colors, I think it'll help with the sheerness department. I'm really not seeing much sheerness going on with this print. I'm not seeing any brown undies here. Look how dark these are too. With this light of a print, it's insane. They did a really good job with that. The biggest thing, the number one thing that I look for when it comes to any kind of printed legging is does the fabric fade around the meaty areas like the quads and the glutes. In this case with this pattern, there's zero fade. They nailed this print, swirl print for the win. If I'm being super picky, I would have loved the glue area to not have the brown in it, just because it kind of could look like a shit stain. So if this brown could just go somewhere else, 
and just leave the really nice blues in this area, I think we would have been golden. Other than that, it's such an adorable legging. Very, very comfortable. Stretchy, Nubre fabric is a 26 inch inseam, so I'm 5'3", and this is the cutoff point. Anything past 26, you're looking at 28, 29, I'm like, mm, this 26 is working for me. You all know I prefer seamless over anything, but when it comes to yoga style wear, when there's seams and it's totally acceptable, the best way to get it done is by having the seams work for you. Buff Bunny seems to do that. They actually use the seams to their advantage and highlight the glue area times three on the legacy. They create some movement down the leg. Really flattering, especially with that flat lying seam. It lays right against the skin and there's no long term dig. And most importantly, there's no seam on the very top of the band here. So everything lies very flat and very comfortably. I noticed with Buff Bunny's bras, they're a lot thicker, very durable, a lot more than other brands that I'm used to, including Alphalete. Like, I feel like Alphalete has more of a, a thinner feel, more lightweight. This is definitely more of a denser, heavier bra because I feel like a lot of Buff Bunny's bras are more moderate to higher support. I never really get a Buff Bunny bra in that's extremely light support. I feel like they don't really do that at least the majority of it and what I've tried. And the back, even though it's a kind of a straightforward backing, it's super comfortable. No dig, nothing weird like that. And it's very secure on my side boobs. That's something I look out for, man. I got a lot of side boob, but not a lot of cleavage. So I need a bra that's gonna take this side boob, secure it really nice and tight, and give me some cleavage. And that is what the candy wrap's doing. How about the siren short? So this is actually their green swirl print. Similar to the rainwater blue swirl print, the siren short is very similar to the legacy. It's still made out of the new Bray fabric that I love so much, but the difference here is in the waistband where it crisscrosses in the front. So it makes it its own unique style of short. The waistband's nice, but I feel like it doesn't really hold up right here at this angle. It'll start to kind of cinch and look a little weird. We have a four inch inseam. Fit, feel, function, it's the same exact thing as the normal legacy short. Just a different crisscross band in the front. According to this lighting, this is as squat proof as it could possibly get. It's pushing up there like by the 99 percentile. Very impressed with that, very impressed, especially because you have a lot of really light tones, even almost light ivory white colors here. So just like the leggings you saw in the swirl print, same exact thing here where I'm not seeing any fading of the pattern. I also think that this pattern would show up less because it's more of a tie dye look. So there's some leeway there, if you know what I mean. Like the, if it stretches out, could look like it's part of the tie dye design for crying out loud. But nevertheless, I'm not seeing any noticeable fades anywhere. I think they did a great job with the swirl print for sure. If you're thinking about prints in this collection, it's gotta be the swirl print. If you are looking for a loose fit short with a liner for the summertime, look no further. My favorite is the Lifesaver short. This is in the color Macaroon. It's this really pretty pinky peach color. I really believe Buff Bunny has some of the best loose fitted lightweight shorts I've ever put on my body. What actually stands out to me with these loose fit shorts, especially from the ones that I've previously been talking about on my channel, a lot of it's like hit or miss for a lot of people, is the fact that they kept it a consistent color. So the liner is the same exact color as the outer layer. I know that's a big deal to some. This way your eye doesn't go straight to the underliner. You know what I mean? It just looks like one nice flowing piece. Love the high waist. Here's my only thing. The liner is really, really, really short. I'm feeling it, right? I'm feeling it. I feel like right on the inside here as I'm walking, it's just, it's kind of right next to my crotch a little bit. Here's where the shortest part of the liner is. Right here. Okay, these are, these are booty shorts. Booty, booty loose fit shorts here. You have one side pocket right in here. I really do love that crisscross overlay. Allows for great movement. Look at this, dang. Alphalete shorts are similar to this if you caught my last review, but totally different in the actual material. Like this is extremely lightweight, whereas Alphalete's had a little more density, a little, little rougher and tougher feel. This has more of a lightweight, airy, super thin. Like, I mean, I feel like it's so thin you could pop a hole through it, but, but I think you're good to go. Seems pretty durable. The sizing is perfect. I would stick to my true size small. I would not size down because I feel like if this was any tighter, it'd start to aggravate me a little bit. I would say if you're in between sizes, 
possibly size up just to make sure that the liner is a little comfortable around your legs again because it's so so small. I actually really do like this overlay material because it drapes nicely so that it's very flattering. It's not so boxy looking and stiff like like a diaper, you know what I mean? So this, this kind of flows with your body a little bit, sways in the wind if you will. If you want a really nice pretty nude color, check out the Donut Worry. This color is actually going to be available in the beige swirl print. I wanted so bad to get my hands on that beige swirl print, but I didn't. It's okay. I still got a solid color short. This is the Legacy short. Again, I love my Legacy and I love it in short version too. Size medium is where it's at for me. If you guys know me, I wear almost everything in a size small, but recently I'm noticing that my confidence level goes up. I feel more comfortable wearing a size medium in tight fitted shorts, just like these. I just feel like a size medium lays over my thighs in a gentler way. They're not cinching so much. Seeing as this color is one of their lightest in the bunch, I thought for sure when getting it, like this is going to be pretty sheer. I did, I really thought it would be. But to my surprise, it's like 99% squat proof. They did a really good job in this range with creating pieces that are squat proof. With this soft and stretchy of a material, when squatting consecutively, you will notice that it ends up riding up, but I'm not actually getting flippage. Like I'm not getting any roll up, but I am getting some bunching up here. So it's shifting and making its way up. Keep that in mind if you plan on wearing these to a gym. And I do notice this in the past, but that is just with Buff Bunny. I feel like this is more of a yogi wear, which is why I don't wear it to the gym. I absolutely love the way they designed this short with the light colored flat line seams. I think it's a really pretty look where it's like a little more of a paler tone on the seam. I'm so glad they went that route rather than a really dark or like brown seam. I feel like they do that with some of their pieces. Mad Scientist, the Loch Ness legging, they'll put like different pops of color. I'm really glad to see just a neutral, solid pair of shorts. Now keep in mind, this is a four inch inseam. <sighs> Anything shorter, I I wouldn't really be wearing it. This is this is cutting it close for me. This is cutting it a little bit close. A runner up favorite in the legging department is definitely the Rosa Pocket legging. This again is in their Newbury fabric. Are we seeing a trend? I like the Newbury fabric. This is their terrazzo print. To me, it reminds me of a really pretty marble countertop. I actually think they nailed it with the black background on this with the beige and the white sharp speckles. I think it's a very pretty print. Because there's some beige tones in this legging, you can pair it with any of the donut worry tops. I actually grabbed one of their sugar coat zip up jackets in the donut worry. Look how perfectly they pair together. You got that pop of black. You got that really nice nude to mellow it out up top. I love Buff Bunny zip jackets for the gym. I absolutely love it because it doesn't mess my hair up. I could just unzip my jacket and go. These are just so perfect because they're not skin tight, but they're not loose and oversized, so it's a very flattering body fit. I purposely did not get the matching sports bra for the terrazzo legging. I figured because it's mostly black legging, I have so many black Buff Bunny bras, I would just mix it with that. So this is an older Buff Bunny bra. I am so bummed with these leggings because they fade. Even just standing normally, you can see the fabric starting to fade. So big bummer, especially because I was looking to rock these with the pockets. Keep in mind, these are my true size small. Extremely stretchy. If I could get away with sizing up, which I do think maybe I could have, as long as I'm not working out in them, I don't think they're gonna make their way down with a size medium. If I wore size medium, I do think it would be a little more beneficial with the fading. Remember, this is the new Bray fabric, so same material as the Legacy. These leggings, they're all very similar. There's just minor differences, like the pattern and the seams. You don't have the tri-seam on this one. It's just the one V-shaped seam. I'm so glad I got the Donut Worry color. So it's really pretty, full zip, just how I like it. You have two internal pockets here. Two external, they're seamless pockets. You don't even notice them. They look like a regular seam, invisible pocket. The seam placement was really methodical with this. I feel like they did it on purpose to accentuate length, to make that torso appear a little bit longer. I know for me, I have a really short torso, in case you haven't figured that out. And with this type of jacket and the specific 
cuts where it's lower in the front, a little higher on the side. This really lengthens my body really nicely. So if you're a shorty like myself, this jacket is so good for that. It comes equipped with the thumb holes, which I love when it comes to active jackets. No hood or anything, just the normal collar that I like to pop up and look fresh with. Very, 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 very stretchy. I think sticking to my true size small is good. Anything bigger, I'd kind of be like, all right, it looks like I just sized up one too many sizes and I would probably size down. And it wouldn't quite have the effect of this body shaping look. So yeah, I would size down, especially if I'm in between. I think sizing down will help this jacket work for you a little bit better. The heavy feature on this is without a doubt that open back, just there to ventilate you, let you know what the temperature is outside, but really such a great option for wearing in and out of the gym. It is time to razzle and dazzle. So we have the dazzle legging <laughs> and the maraschino sports bra. These are in the color, you guessed it, rainwater blue. They actually have a black version and a white one. When I saw these pieces, the first thing I thought was New Year's Eve. I actually think all three colors could be used for New Year's Eve. What do you think? I must be tripping here because if you watch my past videos, I always said I was never really a huge fan of blue, but yet here I am. Almost everything I picked was blue, damn it. I think that it's that blue, purple, periwinkle type that's just, it's kind of tickling my fancy. Let's start with the leggings. Like I said before, this is an ombre style foil speckle. So you actually do have a little bit of that foil and then all of a sudden there's a whole lot of it right here by the ankle. I think that's super pretty because if it was all consistent and just be like meh, but the ombre is just, it, it does something to the eye where it just makes you look up and down the set. This entire set is made out of their Elysium fabric. In case you don't know, this is more of your gym friendly fabric, which is crazy because I mean, look at this design. <laughs> <laughs> not not like my go-to pick for a design for a gym, unless you really wanna just like break a neck or two, but hey girl, you like do it. This material has more of that slippery feel, very wicking, breathable, and is overall a medium to higher support, so very gym friendly. I think the sports bra is one of the prettiest of the bunch. It makes the girls look perfect, but I think the back is what sold me on it because it's a complete open, back look. This is something I would literally wear to the Grammys, for crying out loud. But yeah, there's no adjustments or anything. It's very simple and straightforward. The real big hitter on this is just the overall design, that foil, to just capture your attention. So the fit of this Elysium fabric right now, it's got that real slippery, plasticky feel to it. Because this is Buff Bunny's gym fabric, let's do a wick test. 12 squirts. It is exactly two o'clock PM. We will keep chatting and check back to see how fast this dries. Damn, it's already starting to dry and it's only 10 seconds in. <laughs> Whoa. In the meantime, this is super squat proof. This is a huge deal when it comes to light colors because we all wanna look cute, but we also don't want the world to see our you know what back there. One minute in, I still feel a little dampness, but you don't actually see it. Very wicking, so if you guys are looking to work out in a set, you might wanna check this one out. If I had to just pick one piece out of this set, it's gonna be the leggings or the bra. I'm picking this bra. I feel like a pop star. It is so glamorous that I feel like you could dress this up or down. You got a really nice higher support bra. What I love is that they still can make the cleavage look good while still being super high support. I see other brands where it's like, their high support bra comes all the way up to your neck. This open back is beautiful. I mean, from far away, it looks like I'm wearing a dress, like a gown if you like squint in your eyes. So like I said, this is one hell of a glamorous gym set. I sure as hell ain't wearing this to the gym though. <laughs> From far away, this looks like just a ton of glitter packed onto a gym set that's just gonna flake off as you touch things. But nothing's actually flaking off and I'm like scratching at this thing and it is fully intact and durable for the gym. We are gonna close the show with the Untamed Jogger set. I actually have this exact set I got quite a few months ago in the fall time. I got their Death Before Decaf color that I love because it's a real pretty nude. I wear it all the time because now more than ever, I'm wearing matching jogger sets daily. When I go out, anywhere I go, 
you name it, it's a very casual jogger set. I feel like sweats in general, stylish sweats, I'm seeing everywhere. So I believe this is the only color they're coming out with in the Untamed Jogger set. Now I gotta be honest, with the hot summer months, am I gonna be wearing this on a hot day? Absolutely not. Have you tried this set on yet? It's hot as hell. It's 100% cotton. 100, which means it traps heat like no other, which also means there's zero stretch in it. So keep that in mind. When I put this on, even though it's oversized look, you you shall not, you shan't size down in this because you will regret it. There reaches a point when I'm about to put my arms through the sleeves and drape it over me is when I start to feel the no stretch thing. It reaches its max potential and that's it. When I'm squatting in this, it makes its way down because it's so stiff. Now, because it's oversized, it's not unbearable for me. I actually really do like this jogger set and I still wear my decaf on all the time. But the only stretchy part you're gonna find on here is the waistband, like that's it. This is a super solid jogger set. There's no other colors, there's no seam breakup, nothing, no contrasting anything. The only thing you have going on here is the Buff Bunny stitched in logo. You actually have Buff Bunny collection written out on the sleeve here, all embroidered, thank goodness. And then to contrast that, right on the hip next to the pocket, you have the short form logo. Super straightforward hoodie, got the kangaroo pocket, no heavy hood syndrome, it's very lightweight, thank goodness. And most importantly, no drawstring on the hood. Same with the sweatpants, you do have the draw cord, I do need to use it. <laughs> just to keep them up. Cuffed ankles, really stretchy right here. Just going like this, you can feel the stiffness. So do not size down in this. You wanna to stick to your true size, if not size on up. And that concludes today's video. What are our thoughts on the Buff Bunny Sugar Rush collection? Drop a comment below. A huge congrats to Felicia on her collaboration with Buff Bunny. I think this is a stunning collection. She did an amazing job. Other than the minor fabric fades on some of the pieces, I really think you guys are gonna be really happy with this overall. So definitely don't forget to subscribe for future videos just like this. We review a ton of Buff Bunny, Alpha Lee, Gymshark ahead of time before the launches, so you don't wanna miss out on future videos. There's some really exciting things coming your way, so please be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, because you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for your support, and please always message me if you shop with my code GATA for any of these launches. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.